sorry, just to add to that about this recent terror attack, I'm calling it, is the fact we've had 500 more illegals cross by boats just last weekend and no doubt basically all young fighting age men again. Like, I think people have to understand now that the government are complicit. They are acting treacherously against their own people. Every single illegal male they let in is a ticking time bomb and an extreme risk to innocent people in this country, children and women and elderly and any innocent member of the public. And they're all coming from Africa and Middle East and from gang cultures and areas that are basically taught to hate Christians and white people. You might get one in a thousand. That's a good person that's just got mixed up along the way. It has to stop. And, you know, people on the radio just now are saying, oh, well, the authorities are trying to quell, you know, the information, the rhetoric, because they're, one, they're worried that the country's a bit of a tinderbox at the moment. And you look at Rotherham and Leeds and, yeah, but every time anything like that happens, it's not normal British folk. It's the same that are causing the issues that have these riots. Um, it's, the, it's the relative newcomers, sorry. And again, I don't give a crap about, when I say ordinary British folk, that's all sorts of colours, people. It's about, it's about people who come here with no intention of living like a Brit, who come here to take what they can and dominate and overwhelm another Christian society. Just my opinion. So this government, like the last, are utterly malfeasant and criminal in their continuing allowance of boats, of illegal men running up our beaches akin to world wars. I'm sorry, it's how it is. And every time something horrific happens, we all go, oh, how horrible. Oh God, this has to, st and, then, and then nothing, nothing. Oh, so polite. And I think us Brits for so long have just been the type that cue, that don't tend to say anything, that do what you're told, which is good. That's, you know, we're a good society, but we have been walked on and crap has been wiped on our backs with dirty boots for too long. Like ser seriously, like what other nation would put up with this? I know a lot of Europe's having the same, but not in the same extent, I think, because of the size of our island, it's just the impact's bigger. But no country in the Muslim world, no country in the Middle East, no country in, you know, China or Russia or no Arab country would allow this. Can you imagine if coaches of white young males were to just barge into, I don't know, Saudi? on a daily basis. And then they had terror attacks every month from another crazed white man um, and bombing things and mass stabbing. Do you think they'd put up with it? Don't be ridiculous, grooming gangs, raping thousands of, of Saudi young girls. It, it just wouldn't happen. They'd all be slaughtered. They'd be lined up and shot. But here, come welcome, here's a hotel. Here's, here's a buffet, here's some spending money. Oh, there's a GP and a dentist for you. Aren't we lovely? Aren't we the best? Aren't we wonderful? Oh, we're so virtuous. And we're just fucking idiots. We really, really need to get a grip. And this bloody government, which are doing just abominations already within weeks of being in, we need to hold them to account. Our children deserve better.
need to move. Yeah. You've just all right. I've got a pacemaker. Down the I've got a pacemaker. The I've got a pacemaker. And they've just arrested me for walking up here. No, to reach the section 30. Oh, you want to do them any tighter? That's why I'm trying to lock them so they can stock it in tight. Well, actually, you're really tight in them. Well, I'm not. Really you really are tight in them and you're really making me. You're what? So can you relax? Are you joking? Five seconds. Are you joking? I've never Five. been arrested in my life. Madam. I have. Don't you, miss. Don't you. I have never been arrested in my life. I'm 73 years old. And I have come here because of them babies who's died. And I am being arrested. How many more children have died on our streets, Prime Minister? How many more children? How many more children, Prime Minister? Are we going to do something? Time to change, Starmer. Come on, needed. How many more children? Is it mine next? What's Are you going to stand up for our children? Yeah. Bye bye. Got your photos, off you go. Make a real change, Prime Minister. Make a real change! Get our children! Go away! I've just found out my friend's nine-year-old daughter was killed. You're not wanted! The person I've held as a child and he's Who said it was the Who was it? We have treated like a criminal here, and criminals are ruling around freely with machetes. And you are here with the right gear to stop us? No, it's not right. It's not right with the law abiding citizens. Our kids are being killed, and we are being stopped. No, system is failed. They are failed. They are failed. You failed us. Can't we keep going on and you stop us in the right gear that we are criminals? We are not criminals. I need to save my kids. Democracy, not mobocracy. Stop the boats and mass migration. Safer streets, not machete madness. Pluralism, not failed multiculturalism. Integration, not subversion. National unity, not divided diversity. Good governance not too tearfully. Britain with British values, not toxic identity politics. A united kingdom. Does all that make me far right, Prime Minister? And I think the antidote of this slippery slope of multiculturalism is pluralism. A clear set of defining values that form a core of overarching shared national identity. Now, whatever the faith, whatever the background, whatever the ethnicity, whatever the origin, it should be nation first, flag first. But you know more than that, I think it's a sense of belonging, sense of identity, and a sense of pride that our nation provides for each and every one of us. Of Save our kids! Save our kids! Save our kids!
What would we be arrested for if we were to go in the road? What would we be arrested for then? Breach of the section 14 of public order. There are conditions imposed on this demonstration. We're not, we're not so, certain for today, is it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. It should be explained where you are allowed and where you're not allowed. Can you tell me I've just arrived? That's fine, that's fine. No road? What about Palestine protesters? Do they get yeah. the same thing? On, on the outside of the road or, or just not in the road? Time not in the road. Okay. Is, is there a warning? If someone walks in there, do you warn them first or just take them? Bang. Well, you've had your warning now. Yeah, if someone's in the road. If we, it gets we, busy we, and someone's pushed in. It's all been communicated to everyone in this area. Okay. Nothing yeah. So if people breach that, then okay. you're being a fat lord. Yeah, fair enough. Right, stop us anyway. Give us a A few moments later. Yep. You're under arrest at the moment for breaching section 14 of public order, right, Sorry? You're under arrest at the moment for breaching section 14 of public order. I'm breaching at them. Okay, so you do not have to say anything. Get my hand up first. Hey! Yeah, yeah, what have I done wrong? Okay, I'll explain to you after. I stayed on the pavement. So, I've stayed on the pavement, mate. Okay, so they, want, they wanted people off the pavement as well. So Yeah, well, I, I asked him, should I go? And you said stay there. You said you're okay for a minute. I'm going to be under arrest, so let me deal with that. All right? You did say to me, I'm okay there, right? I didn't personally, no. No, when I said, what is your meaning, everybody? Yeah. Under arrest, I've been giving you instructions. I've just been giving instructions, all right? Right. Yeah. Simple as. All right? I know you're fine. You yeah, I'm not going anywhere, mate. Um, Where's Donnie? I wasn't. Where's Jamie? I wasn't told to move off the, off the pavement though. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't told to move off the pavement. Everyone's dispersed off the pavement. Oh, I'll go then. I'll go. I'll, I was on the pavement. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Sorry. Okay. Where am I going? Okay. The mothers, grandfathers, grandmothers. Life crime is out of control. Something has to give. Seriously. You guys are dealing with it at the ball crossing. You have the ability to Don't play their game! Don't play their game! You want violence? Peaceful protest this! Now, while I totally understand the Muslim community for doing this, and I'm not criticising them for taking to the streets like this in response to the violence against them, I have to highlight this purely to show how unequal the government response has been. I can't show some of the attacks that some Muslims have been inflicting against white people across the country, or vice versa, because they're too horrific for YouTube. But look at the response here. How many members of the Muslim Defence League <clears throat> will be arrested in Stoke for openly carrying weapons? Will there be a special police force to tackle Islamic hate gangs? Will these thugs receive banning orders? Two-tier Starmer and Labour are spineless. Where's Aaron? Where's Aaron? <laughs> up there! Up there! Up there! Where's Aaron? 
Where's Aaron? Oh, run! Just go! Oh, no! Oh, Chris! Here are police officers in Blackburn joking.